Hello boys and girls, I'm Maestro Les Gregory and this is a short demo which will prove to you beyond the shadow of a doubt that this unbelievably good looking uh, Gibson Les Paul i9 is truly guitar invented. You may ask, why is this guitar so special? Well, first of all, it is a V Gibson Maestro Alex Gregory signature, as you can see from the trash front cover. And that fact in itself makes the guitar very special, but there's uh, even more to that. Let's start with the tuning. Okay. This guitar attuned to the note of C2, G, D, A, E, and B4. Okay, this gives me a, a, a huge range. It gives me the full range of a classical string quartet. In fact, the, low, the note of C2 on the bottom is yellow, while on the upper end you have an A6, that's the highest note I have here. And that is basically the maximum range of the violin of a baroque period. Obviously, for, for this uh, guitar to work, there is a dedicated design. That means it is a neck with specific, with specific measurements, specific shape, and a specific scale, which obviously I'm not going to disclose, so the thieves out there can keep their clothes in their pockets. But I will say that though this uh, dedicated design optimizes the tuning, it can also be used uh, uh, advantageously with other different tunings which are more standard. It can be used with uh, three main other tunings, like uh, normal E440, starting from the G of the third fret, or the A. You could say, yes, this, this, let me actually show you what it means with a normal guitar. Yeah, I only have one prototype, so I have to use a normal guitar to show you what I mean, the other three main tunings. But number one main tuning, normal E4 tuning guitar, which is open strings. First chord, starting from the G, open strings. tune a normal guitar to these three other tunings, yes, but it will not have anywhere near the fullness, tone, and ease of play because I will be able, because of the dedicated design, I will be able to use thicker uh, strings on the uh, prototype, on the new Maestro Les Gregory R9, and you could not do that on a normal guitar. In fact, trying to tune a normal guitar to A, which would be an alto range, would be very, very difficult. Strings will break and it will sound very, very thin. So here you have it. This guitar is definitely, the, not this one anyway, the prototype is the most versatile guitar on the planet today. The first thing that happens, let's go back to the optimum tuning, C2 to B4. The first thing that happens because of the tuning, you have no conflicting harmonics, which means there's more clarity, more power, more fullness. Everything sounds really better. And I'm going to demonstrate this with three simple things, an A major chord and two Clapton legs. Let me start A major chord on a normal guitar. Now we'll play an A major chord on the Maestro Gibson R9. Examine rhythm parts now. For rhythm parts, the first thing that happens is one finger gives you one power chord. That means that you can actually play scales with core power chords, sort of powered scales, if you want to call them. So let's take an example this scale. you can do this with a normal guitar, obviously. So this leads to the next thing. This uh, facility makes it for heavy metal rhythm parts happen. Here, let me give you a couple examples.
which is great, you've got octaves on adjacent strings that can be done on the guitar. What it means, you can do Vivaldi type parts of uh, cello and viola and violin at the speed of light uh, um, together. This amazing heavy metal rhythm or whatever you want to call it. Here we go. I'll give you an example. Let me now play this one with uh, fast alternate picking, Vivaldi from Hell. We now to get to single notes playing. This guitar is definitely the most versatile guitar on the planet. You can definitely play everything you play on your normal guitar, plus a lot more. So here's some blues from Hell. in even fifths, so you don't have the problem of major thirds. So let me give you an example. This can be repeated, and you might think, oh, the repetition of the same shape over two strings may make it, makes it boring from the repetition. No, it actually makes it easier to come up with variations all over. So let me give you just a couple of simple examples of supersymmetry first. <laughs> Second example is simply using finger one two three, and I'm going to use one two four for the same scale, which was a D Dorian. So here we go. amazing uh, uh, five octave runs uh, so there's more to come in the next videos let me just show you a few little pages now and, and, and just a few other things before I go <laughs>
guys, this is it for now. I mean, there's plenty, plenty more. This guitar really smoke anything you've ever, that you ever, I'm sure you got a clue from this. You know, this is truly guitar invented. Uh, the learning curve is about six months to a year, realistically, if you're a guitarist. You know, I've only been playing for a couple of weeks, so I, can you imagine what it's going to be like six months? Already it's very impressive, but six months is going to be ridiculous. So be aware of that, but even so, if you're starting, uh, if you're a beginner or if you're an intermediate player and you have not got into shredding yet on a normal guitar, this is just the way to go. The rounds are much, much easier on pentatonic scales anyway, which is where most people are at. When you get to the classical stuff, it's insane, obviously, as you can see. So guys, this is it. It's been said before for a hundred years, but this guitar proves yet again categorically that only a Gibson is good enough. And if it is the maestro Alex Gregory signature is Paul, that's it.